and welcome back to another video. Today I will be giving you some ideas on how to transform your bedroom into a gothic retreat. I figure this would go without saying, but since there are a lot of people who love to gatekeep, the decor of your room or house does not define how goth you are whatsoever. You could have a pink Hello Kitty and Barbie themed bedroom and still be super goth. I just wanted to create this video to give you guys some ideas and inspiration on how to spice up your own personal space in a gothic fashion if that's what you want to do. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Your bed is one of the most integral parts of your bedroom, and giving it a makeover can really influence the vibe of your whole room. Starting off with the base, vintage wood bed frames give a very romantic goth feel. You can find lots of these at local thrift shops, pawn shops, or flea markets, and with a little sanding and painting, you can give it a dark custom finish. If you don't have or want a bed frame, that's up to you. I just feel like the right one certainly adds a very nice flair. If you have the room, a canopy adds a Victorian castle-like feel. I wish I had the space in my room to add a canopy. I just know it would make me feel like a princess. Obviously, your sheets, pillows, and comforters are the most visible part of your bed, so making them fit your personal aesthetic is super important. A plain dark colored or black comforter will give a simplistic gothic feel to your bed without making it feel too busy. But if a graphic comforter is more your style, you can find a ton of cool gothic ones. Decorative throw pillows can make it pop as well. Depending on your own personal style, you can find decorative pillows with graphic designs at stores such as Spencer's and Spirit Halloween. If you wanted something more romantic and vintage, you can find lots of decorative throw pillows and cases at thrift stores and flea markets. Your furniture is also a major part of your room. It provides storage, display space, and other functional purposes. Having a small bedside table gives you a place to put small trinkets and display items, as well as store a few things. DIY is a huge factor in the goth subculture, so it only makes sense that it would extend to room decor. If you already have a bedside table that you love, but it's not the perfect color, there are tons of tutorials online on how you can spruce it up to make it your own. You can even add custom fixtures like drawer handles. Dressers can be customized in the same way. If you have a bit of extra space in your room, you could always add a nice upholstered chair or love seat. As with a lot of gothic decor, you can find many great options at local thrift stores, pawn shops, or flea markets. Functionality is super important with any furniture you buy. Large bookshelves can be used to display your favorite reading materials as well as display items. If you're into platforms or other cool boots, you can even use the shelf space to show off your collection. I mean, for the price of demonias, you might as well be showing them off on display. Standalone small shelf units are also a great option if you have less space. Clothing racks are another cool addition that is super functional. You can show off your favorite clothing articles while having them easily accessible for outfit planning. These are the things that make up the whole structure of your room, so you've got to personalize them as much as you can. The base of any beautifully decorated wall is of course the perfect color of paint, which is entirely up to personal preference. Most goths will lean towards black or any other dark color. However, if you have a very small room like I do, painting your room a dark color will just make it look even smaller. If you do have a small room, I recommend painting it a lighter neutral tone like beige or gray. It doesn't have to be a super bright or colorful shade, and with the right decor, you can offset the lighter tone. One of the most important parts of goth culture is the music. Band posters are an awesome way to spice up your walls. Same with posters or wall decor from your favorite gothic or spooky media. If you are not a huge fan of posters and want something more classy and with a more Victorian flair, I highly recommend a gallery wall. Even with a small room and minimal wall space, you can curate a beautiful gallery wall. I love mine so much. It's my favorite part of my room. This is it right here. My gallery wall is a mix of paintings and drawings that I've done myself, pictures online that I have printed off, art prints from local vendors, pressed flowers, and taxidermy pieces. 
the absolute best place to find vintage frames like the ones I have on my wall are thrift stores. I live in a small town with not so good thrift stores and I still found like 30 gorgeous frames that are to die for. Something else I'm a huge fan of is the cheap black netting like Halloween garland that you find everywhere around Halloween. I have like two strips of it hanging up around my room and I absolutely love it. I wish I got more. Goths are often much like crows in the way we love to collect random arbitrary trinkets just because they're pretty and shiny. Having many little trinket storage boxes to keep your odds and ends safe is very important. A personal favorite of mine is old brass bowls, teacups, and saucers you can find at thrift stores. They are so gorgeous and super inexpensive. You can find lots of beautiful glass cups, saucers, and like sets as well. Mini garden statues shoes make a great addition too. Mini gargoyles or fairies have a very Victorian feel to them. One of my favorite things to do is dry flowers, especially roses, and put them in vintage vases on display. Drying flowers is super simple. You basically just take them out of the water before the petals start to fall off, making sure to dry the stems so they don't rot or mold, and then you tie them together with some string or twine and leave them hanging upside down for about two weeks to ensure they're fully dried. I prefer keeping them in out of the sun during this time so that the natural color of them changes as little as possible. You can also use this method to, with herbs and other plants. Instead of placing them in a vase or container, you can even leave them hanging on the wall to cover some space. Mood lighting makes a world of a difference in your room. I, for one, never use my big ceiling light. It gives me the major ick. I have a ceiling fan, personally, that I love and I use it every single night to sleep. But putting in a custom ceiling light fixture, such as a chandelier, can give your room a very spooky castle vibe, which I absolutely live for. Vintage lamps sitting on your bedside table or other areas give off that lovely Victorian vibe as well. Salt lamps are one of my personal favorites because they give off a very dim and soft light. I recently got a lava lamp as well from Spencer's that I am obsessed with. They have a ton of different styles and size options and I could just spend hours staring at my lava lamp watching it bubble and flow. If you want something more trendy and bright, you can install some LED strip lights to set a specific color mood in your room. If you really want to go old school and classic Victorian, you can add candles. Lots of candles. Oh, I love candles. I got these gorgeous gold cherub candle holders from a thrift store and they are one of the best things I own. Just to make sure you're being safe whenever you use candles and if you can't trust yourself to be safe with real candles, LED ones are a great option as well. Not everything you own can or needs to fit your aesthetic, and no room can be perfect, but if you don't want to have specific things stored out in the open of your room, you need to have storage space to keep it out of sight. As someone with a small room, the space under my bed is very, very useful. I keep out of season clothes like summer shorts in storage containers under my bed, as well as any of my art supplies. I also have a folding gaming chair down there to save space in my room. Storing things under your bed is great because you can just cover up the space with a blanket or a piece of fabric and no one would know you have a ton of stuff down there. I also have a big armoire in my room that I use to store lots of things. Mine is just plain black, but you can find many styles or even DIY one to fit your aesthetic. I keep things such as hygiene products, snacks, my laptop, files and paperwork, and any other junk I don't need out in the open inside mine. Little tip, if you buy demonias, don't throw away those huge boxes they come in. I use mine for storing random stuff and they are durable and hold so much stuff. 
I have given some inspiration for general goth style, but everyone has their own niche interests. Perhaps you describe yourself as hippie goth. Adding fake vines hanging from your ceiling as well as real potted plants all around you might be your thing. Or maybe even some cool tapestries. Something super unique you could add might be bead strings in your doorway. I might just remove my door so I can add some of those because they look too cool. Maybe you're a crystal lover like me. Large specimens, towers, and spheres look great on shelf space. Or perhaps you're into oddities. Skulls or other taxidermy pieces make great gothic decor as long as they are humanely and responsibly sourced. Most of my skulls are ones that I have found naturally deceased and I've cleaned them up on my own. Whatever your personal style may be, incorporating it into your room can be super therapeutic. Having a space that you can relax and spend time in that is full of the things you love is an act of self-care and I believe everyone should be able to partake in that. Remember that things take time. You might not be able to acquire everything you need for your dream room all at the same time. It's taken me a few years to make my room look the way it does now and it's still not perfect but I love it the way it is. Consistent reorganizing and adding new things can help you transform your room into your own personal bat cave. The places I have the most luck in finding gothic decor are, of course, thrift stores, pawn shops, and flea markets. Any store around Halloween, actually the dollar store has some awesome finds for very cheap, but the quality can be iffy sometimes. Spirit Halloween has a lot of amazing finds, but they can be very pricey. Spencer's Gifts is great for gothic and pop culture based homeware, and you can also sometimes find a few cool things at Hot Topic. I've bought a few things for my room on AliExpress, I know, crappy site, but I found some small items on there that I wasn't able to find anywhere else, so I caved. I hope this video could inspire you to find some new ways to spruce up your room to make it as gothically beautiful as you are. As always, I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see some more of my content, make sure to follow my other socials in my link tree down below, and I will see you next time. Love you. Bye!